So let's look at the subsequent part C. So the curve C has this parametric equation here. Uh, the line L uh, is as this equation meets the curve C at point minus 2, 1. Uh, so this is line L here. This is the curve here. Okay. The region S is the region enclosed by line L and C and the x axis is shown that they're going below. Show that the x intercept of curve C is uh, negative 2 root 2. I think this is pretty okay. At the intercept, at x intercept, all right, you know very well that this will just be y equals to zero. Now, when it comes to parameter equation, the parameter is important. So, so at x intercept, what we need to do is y equals to zero, and what I need to do is I need to find what is my parameter which corresponds to y equals to zero. So, when y equals to zero, um, this will give us zero equals to sine t over 2 plus cosine t over 2 meaning to say uh, this equation here becomes 0 this becomes 0 right so that, that is a point there so once I've done this this will be minus sine t over 2 equals to cosine t over 2 so very simply I could just divide both sides by sine a cosine then this will be tangent t over 2 uh, equals to 1 so divide by cosine t, t over 2 then this case here will be tangent t over 2 equals to negative 1 so here uh, t over 2 uh, basic angle basic angle will just be tangent inverse positive 1 which is actually just pi over 4 so t over 2 will be uh, because it's negative 1 it can be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4 really depends but our t is t over 2 here so divide by 2 so t over 2 with negative 3 over 4 minus pi over 4 okay so this is in minus pi to negative 3 over 4 um yeah it's actually in the um sort of like in the uh, third and the fourth quadrant right so in this case here i'm just gonna take this as quadrant 2 would be 3 uh, pi minus pi over 4 or pi plus pi over 2 pi minus pi over 4 so this is 3 over 4 pi or uh, 2 pi so this will be 2 minus that will be 7 over 4 pi okay uh, this case here, um, you could just, <laughs> okay, negative, right? So I'm going to just uh, minus of 2 pi because it's the same minus 2 pi. This is 3 over 4 minus 2. This will be uh, minus 5 over 4 pi. This same thing minus 2 pi. Just to check. So that will be negative pi over 4, okay? So minus 5 over 4 pi is obviously not within this range here. Okay, reject as um, t over 2 is between negative 3 over 4 pi and pi over 4. Okay, so in other words, we, we need this. We really need this one here. This is what we need. Um, this case here, hence uh, t over 2 equals to minus pi over 4 and t equals to minus pi over 2 it's just three go okay so once done uh we need this x intercept here so x equals to x equals to 2 sine so we are going to just substitute this t over t over 2 so 2 sine x equals to 2 sine t over 2 will be minus pi over 4 minus cosine minus pi over 4 this will just be 2 negative 1 over root 2 this will be uh, positive 1 over root 2 so this case here will just be 2 uh, minus 2 over root 2 rationalize the denominator is pretty okay multiply root 2 multiply root 2 this would then be um, uh, negative 2 root 2 Okay, 
So two marks. Um, try. Okay. Let's look at part. Let's look at part two.